<clears throat> Alright guys, we're back with some more South Park, The Stick of Truth. We gotta talk to Annie. Let's go to the girls. Oh, fuck, dude. It's raining. Crappy day. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! Well, fuck. Okay. Mm, I think we'll do go ahead and do this because fuck it, dude. All right, let's go ahead use this boy. Let's do. Oh shit. We're definitely gonna do this. Actually, yeah. Adds 35% damage on perfect attack. And adds 3 bleeding. And then, can we do something with the bottle? We haven't even upgraded the bottle at all. Let's add 50 flame. It'll do some bleeding. Actually. Uh, yeah. I mean, we haven't really used the bottle too much. Wait. Yeah, fuck, fuck the bottle, actually. We can go ahead and use the poison grenades. Which, then we can add 50% fire damage to it. So we got 250 poison, it's up to 6 random targets. That is actually really fucking raw. Alright, cool. Um, so we got to... Okay. Fast travel over to Kyle's. Stay gold, new kid. Playing this, it just really makes me excited to see the story um, about the fractured butthole. I'm really excited to see. document translated isn't going to be easy to breach the kingdom to the north you will have to assume another identity your name is no longer commander douchebag it is now larry babinski from cleveland the quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the lost forest head north then north again north and then north you better get a real okay, cool all right so then we got to go to the photos bop Or a picture taken. If you ever want some work done on your note, photo dojo. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken. Just head into the room there, and we'll get started. Um. Okay. 
Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Uh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants? Or, you know what, just take, take the pants off, too. Okay, that's good. Really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! What? I'm better than the merciful of the well of the knights of Kent. Alright, let's use the poison grenades. Ah. Ah. Bitch! Ah. 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 What the fuck? Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. All right, cool. Let's put our shit back on. Do we still have to be a fucking girl, dude? Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. You don't want to be my friend? All right. I could swear I heard a voice coming up from the sewers. It said something like, "Howdy ho." Actually, can we? No. no. What does really matter? Right, so we just gotta head north, north, north. Cool, now we're in Canada. Oh, Canada. What, you think we just let any ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate. Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. Well, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Um. You're not from around here, are you? Stay here in town. Those direwolves can rip your anus apart in mere seconds. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? We need some Canadian money, huh? We'll just sell all this shit. Six cents. <laughs> this is funny. What can we buy here? Weapons. 
Let's stay here in town. Ottawa, Those the Kyle Wolves can rip Canada. your anus apart in mere seconds. Welcome to the Bank of Cunt. A whole American money. The current exchange rate is one. Welcome to the Bank. A whole American <laughs> Welcome to the uh -huh. All right. I want to buy everything here at least. Okay, then we can sell some consumables here. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Your health is fully restored, and your HIV test is negative. Ah, cool. Thank you. What is this? Can Canadian gemstone, eh? Canadian gemstone again, eh? You're not from around here, are you? Ottawa is the capital of all Canada. All right. Okay, should be good. Talking to the prince is the best part of the or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. <laughs> this is this is stupid. <laughs> Pisses me off, dude. It's a self guided to it. You're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Oh, hell, the hell, yeah. Sorry, Gad. I'm the audio here. tour is narrated by Brian Adams. Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour, or the candelabra, depending on what you're into. The castle isn't just a gift shop, you know, it's also home to our royal family. Hmm. I'm on duty. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard in the great border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. You know what this says? I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves. But dire. Would you like another picture with the prince and princess? Have you picked Sorry, up the photos yeah, of the gift shop yet? You should speak with the prince. I'm here for looks mostly. It's a self-guided tour. You're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Would you like another picture with the prince and princess? Back already? Wow, you are fast. They say Wait, that every oh, time the princess crafts, Hi. another you still haven't been to Winnipeg. <laughs> Hold it right there. Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two eight by tens or six five by seven? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Well, I would have picked it five by seven. You already got your photos. Go on, get out. You already got your photos. Go on, get out. If you need to get from Ottawa to Winnipeg, just follow the road. You'll find the Earl of Winnipeg. Bitch. Better fuck yourself. <sighs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. C'est la S mauvais. Allo? Asuko! 
I can't even do this yet. I think we're gonna learn our new farting spell though. I hate this game for that. <laughs> Fucking animal, dude. Well, here we go again. Oh my god. Alright, dire heart, huh? Welcome to, Win Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Lumberjacking's dangerous work. What with all these tire pairs around? You know what Winnipeg is known for? Uh, neither do we. They say that two Canadian this monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. This poor citizen was killed by a tire pair. You know what a tire bear is like a bear. You know what a tire bear is like a bear. Sorry, buddy, but there's tire bears up there. You know what a tire bear is like? Sorry, buddy, but there's tire bears up there. I'm gonna go fuck, dude. Let me fucking up there. Monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. All right, cool. Last you got a fight, dire bears killed me. Dire... A little bitch. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Probably what I should have done at first. Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. 
but I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him, and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. Uh, Alright, cool. Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys. Peace.